Hello everyone. Today I'll be covering question 8 part E of A-level chemistry, October, November 2018, paper 41. The last question, uh, according to the examiner report, provided challenging for many candidates, especially the second part, the latter part, calculating the voltage. So what's provided in the question is that there is an oxygen methanol field cell, which is, con which is in contact with two inert electrodes. Uh, and if you want to further, if you want to understand what's going on in this question, I suggest you take a look at the paper first. Anyway, so this is what's provided in the question that this is the half equation for what's happening at what's what's happening for methanol, and they've provided the standard electrode potential for this. And the first question is to uh, write an overall cell equation. So this is either reduction or uh, oxidation, which will be dependent on the E value of what we're going to use. Since, uh, so the first question was also a bit difficult as there are many, uh, there are many electrode potentials that could be selected for oxygen. Uh, to elaborate, there is four, one, two, three, and four. So this questions your basic understanding of organic chemistry. And if you understand organic chemistry very well, what you'll know is when any hydrocarbon or an organic compound is completely oxidized or combustion, it produces uh, carbon dioxide and water. So the stronger candidates went for what produced water, not other compounds, but only water. So obviously the reaction that you select would be O2 plus Four H plus plus four E minus, which gives two H two O. Well, that is all well and good, and the E cell of this, sorry, standard electrode potential is one point two three voltage. Uh, and now you just gotta balance the equation or balance the number of electrons at least. So there's six here. You have to make it six here. So multiply this entire thing by one point five. It gives you six one point five, and this becomes three, right? And then you just substitute this into the equation, and the final equation you should get would be CH3OH plus 1.5O2, which would give me, uh, I suppose, 2H2O plus CO2, if I'm not mistaken. And now, this is where the second part is where students got it wrong. And what they found confusing, or what the most common mistake was, so the formula for calculating E cell is reduction minus oxidation. So by that rule, this should be 1.23, because higher, it's more positive, so it gets reduced, minus of minus 0 0.02, which would give plus 1.25, right? Nope, that is wrong. And that is the most common mistakes that was made by candidates in this exam. And I'll tell you why. And that's because they forgot to appreciate what's being oxidized and what's being reduced. So let's elaborate on this part a bit more, all right? To help you understand what's actually going on. So um, we have this equation, right? I'm not going to write it again, but we have this equation as well. Because this is being oxidized, this electron is what must be substituted by whatever the electron value is here. And because the electron value over here is on the right or on the product side, you obviously cannot just flip these to the left and make this, make this the subject and just put it into here because then that would be wrong. So what must be done, the way to make this correct is flip this first equation. By flipping the first equation, you put this first you put the second, the product side first, and the reactant side second. And what happens when you put the product side first and the reactant side second? The standard electrode potential becomes positive. Well, for clarification, I'll write it down. 6E minus plus 6H plus plus CO2, which gives CH3OH plus H2O, right? And now you make this electron the subject, moving them to the right-hand side, minus, would give you CH3OH plus 1.5 O2, which 
plus H2O minus 6H plus minus CO2. This equation, you plug it in here. And when you plug it in here, you would get 1.502 plus 6H plus, and whatever is positive would come here, plus CH3OH plus H2O. And whatever is negative would go to the other side. So there is 3H2 already. And whatever is negative to make it positive goes the other side, plus 6H plus, plus CO2. You check out the common terms, you see that H plus and H plus is, constant, uh, is the same on both sides, so you cancel it out, and there's an H2 over here, so this becomes 2. So the final answer would be 1.5 over 2 plus CH3OH, which would give you 2H2O plus CO2, right? And what happens to the electrode potential, the, the, the E cell value? Because you flip the equation around, this becomes plus 0 0.02, as aforementioned. But this is still the higher, this is still more positive, so it becomes plus 1.23 minus, and because this is positive, plus is 0 0.02. And so the final answer would just be this subtracted by this, which would give you plus 1.21 voltage.